Hello everyone and welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video we will see how to integrate MuleSoft with Twilio. Before we move on please subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon so that you don't miss any of the amazing video. In this channel we will connect everything. I am Mohammad Akib working as a MuleSoft certified developer and architect. So let's understand first what is Twilio. Twilio is a platform that allows software developers to make, a receive, make and receive phone calls, send and receive text messages and perform other communication functions using its web service APIs. So let's move on and understand how this works. Now once you come to the website Twilio.com you should see this first home page so very first step we need to do is to create a trial account for that we need to click sign up and over here give some details whatever detail you want to give like first name last name email and password then accept it like a, an agreement and then start your free trial now since I, al I already have created my account so I am not going to sign up for that I will just click login so uh, while you are going to sign up you will have some verification steps as well like you, you will need to verify from the email as well so once all those steps done these are pretty much straightforward so after that we can just come here and login since I have already logged in from uh, this browser it first asked me email and then password this is 16 character password okay now when login is successful it might ask you your uh, phone number or whatever uh, like uh, if something is uh, you want to set up later you can just click set up later or if you want for the two step verifications to factor authentication you want to implement so just give your phone number over here so for now I will click set up later now you should see your console uh, window once you are logged into your account and here is the main thing and straight on your uh, like on your screen account SID and auth token and here the get trial number but before this just uh, scroll down a bit and see what it says it says a third party user guide to a Twilio most third parties like if you are going to implement with the MuleSoft so MuleSoft is the third party for Twilio so you need to get two things from Twilio phone number and account SID or auth token once that's done simply add credit card you don't need to do it like if you are on trial account you already see that you have got this um, trial uh, like balance which is 15.50 dollar right so we can explore a more uh, features over here like chat phone number messaging voice but uh, for now we will go we scroll down and we'll get started with the process that here you see that first we need to get phone number step two get your account SID and auth token then add a payment method if you want uh, so let's click uh, get number or even if you click here uh, get a trial number you can also get all the details because you already have the account SID and auth token available over here so let's click get a trial number and it shows you your first Twilio phone number so if you want to choose this like choose this number or cancel if you click choose this number okay so uh, congratulations we have got our new phone number so this phone number is like for uh, my account if you will click you will definitely see another number for your own uh, Twilio account okay you can just copy this number 
and click done okay so uh, dashboard just got refreshed and you straight away see your number over here like we can see at the number that we just requested over here now we have got the details like trial number and account SID and auth token so we can now integrate Twilio with the third party system uh, like in our case we are going to integrate with MuleSoft but you can also integrate with other systems like when you're trying to connect to Twilio with the tools like Zoho, CRM, Zapier, HubSpot or any other system. All right, so let's see in MuleSoft how this works. So here in AnyPoint Studio, I have created an empty project. Now let's see how we can create a flow which through which we can send the SMS to different mobile number. So very first step is just pick the HTTP listener because we are going to make a REST call which will do the trick for us and add some configuration here right so for me I am going to add 8085 port you can have your own uh, port like whichever is available I will click OK all right now let's uh, let's add here the path uh, I can say it like send and click save once this is done now we need to add a Twilio connector which we can search in exchange click over here in mule palette in search in exchange link and just find here Twilio like you need to search once we write here Twilio we will straight away see the Twilio connector mule 4 select and click add now once this is added you have options to select the version so we are going to use the latest version which is 4.2.1 now click finish all right you see that Twilio connector is added to your project and we have got different operations or components under the Twilio connector now we want to send the SMS through this flow so we will search create message this operation we will drag and drop over here in the flow now it requires some configurations so let's uh, let's see oh so I have already created this configuration so let's see what this configuration requires so if you see over here we have got the username as SID which we saw in Twilio console uh, initially and this should be your auth token if I show you this will be the auth token that you can get from your Twilio console now click OK and here also we need to add the uh, account SID so we can copy it from uh, Twilio account or from here even you, if you test the connection so it is going to say the connection is successful for sure yes you see here okay click OK and then to this connector and uh, okay save with account SID so you don't see any more errors over here but what message we want to send from the API that we have configured here uh, HTTP listener we will get to know the format when we add one of the coolest uh, connector or component this uh, this is transform message once we add it before create message we are going to see what this component or this connector expects in input so these all fields are expected in the input but we will only get the required fields which are from and body right so from will be the number of our Twilio uh, account that we created a number if you remember so that number will be used here but we are going to send the request from postman so we will use it uh, as payload dot from and two will be where you want to send the message and 
this will be the body uh, okay we can call it as payload dot body so we have configured this uh, Twilio connector uh, Twilio connector also what Twilio connector expects to send the message now let's add transform message again and just change it to JSON because once this is complete once the request is completed we want the response to be shown as JSON so yes we are missing something here okay that's it so we have created this flow and uh, what will happen let me explain when the postman request comes over here it will get the uh, input uh, from payload uh, which will be from two number and the body we will send the details to uh, create message uh, Twilio connector and from here uh, the request will be gone to Twilio and we will get the response whatever expected response is we will get to know in the postman so let's move on and start sending some requests from postman but let's start the project first let's run it run project Twilio integration now once this uh, project has been deployed and running on my local machine I will till then I will be pausing the video and will take you straight away to the postman once this is finished this application is deployed now we are going to see the demo how uh, this message has been sent to mobile number so here we have a message like uh, in payload where we are going to send the message as hello from MuleSoft. This message is coming from Postman, and this is the two number. It is the mobile number where the message will be received, and this is the trial number that we created from from this uh, Twilio account. Uh, you can see uh, the video initially that we created this number. Okay, so let's. Uh, send some of the requests click send okay we got this response and what response says is it gets that uh, SID it says account SID it is said that uh, two this is the two number where message was sent from number and very important thing is body where we can see sent from Twilio trial account this is the same message that I have received on the mobile I will attach uh, this screenshot in the uh, uh, in the video uh, right after we are done with this demo and we can also monitor the messages from console I will show you after we have sent some of the requests hello from MuleSoft uh, this message is coming from Postman so let's edit some uh, the body and send some request uh, like uh, I can say hello this message is from integration bytes okay hit once more and let's hit one once more so uh, we have sent a few requests as we have sent some messages to a, a particular number from this number this trillion number so let's move on to uh, Twilio console first and see from where we can monitor this messaging and like where the message is being sent and whether it is being delivered or not so what is that whole flow we can see from uh, Twilio console let's move on there so here we are on Twilio console we are again here on the dashboard that we saw uh, previously in initially in the video so uh, if you want to see the messaging what's happening behind the scenes we can see in the logs so let's uh, scroll down a bit and here you see programmable messaging all right and uh, you see over here the logs even if you can click here you can just send the message from here as well so you can see the messaging overview it is loading okay recent messages 
all right you see uh, these messages that we sent let me show you these were the messages uh, that we sent okay first click here so let's see yes we sent message that hello from mulesoft this is this message is coming from postman okay and what was the flow message created in queued send delivered all right and to this number the message was sent from this number all right all right okay let's go back and send uh, see the last message as well so very last message uh, we sent as uh, the message from integration bytes so we should see that okay this is from hello from mulesoft <coughs> the last message would be the above one okay this one so from uh, this this whole uh, logging system you can check the messages that whether this was delivered or not and what was the message you can monitor the whole flow and how much time did it take like when it was in queue and then it got delivered all right so let me show you the screenshots as well so here you see the screenshots of the messages that i received on my mobile phone when i sent the message from the postman through mulesoft through a twilio account so that's it guys if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out such information and such informative videos thank you so much